Good morning guys! What's up mga kagulay? Welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, we are going to tackle how safe hydroponics is. Give me love, give me all your love, oh cause I want you. Makes me feel this way Don't know what you do Hold my hand Could you hold my hand Look me in the eyes You and me Yeah, that's all I need And I'll be alright I'll be right here I swear that I'll stay here with you There have been debate globally on why hydroponics, on how safe it is, and how hydroponics better than organic. I have here at the back, I have a large tarpaulin placed outside the farm so that everyone will read this information on why hydroponics is very safe. This is the somewhat PowerPoint presentation by Primitivo Santos and I asked him if I have a copy on this and I'm going to post this in my farm so that people will read and will educate them on how safe hydroponics is. Now guys, I am not against organic and inorganic. What I am trying to explain is hydroponics is also safe. That's why the best option was to certify your farm under Department of Agriculture into organic farm and that is the best edge of all those farm who are doing organic. The very sad part of this is there are areas now who have been contaminated with uh, bad elements or toxic materials. Therefore, some of us people are choosing hydroponics and few of them or not of them had been certified as organic because there are no bureaus here in the Philippines who have been certified with you are organic farm, you are safe farm, and that would be the downside of this farming. But we are doing safe, we are using safe water, we are using safe seeds, we are using safe essential and beneficial nutrients. So that will be our discussion today. And we will have to update you guys in our melon farming, in our basil and our lettuce. So come on guys. Let's go inside the farm.
I am here at the nursery. This is 2 meters by 10 meters nursery. It is a very huge nursery. It has a lot of capacity. This is what I am talking about. We will going to be we will going to transplant this black tomato and candy cane bell peppers. So shout out to my tita out there. Okay, so this is very nice guys. And I also have basil. Okay, basil. We have green kale. Okay, try to look at this one. Every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. That's all guys, um, this is very simple nursery wherein you will be able to uh, install this also in your greenhouse or in your farm. Um, we literally guard or have a safety measure here. Uh, we have black net all over the year and we have mesh net, 32 mesh net. This is somewhat uh, another thing you can do in your farm. Make these uh, beds looks uh, exciting. And basically, in this bed, you can put uh, letters, name of the person which is you invite in your farm, or somewhat a VIP, very important person. So you have to make it uh, most. Uh, somewhat memorable experience they will have experience in your farm so basically that's an idea actually this is not my idea I I just found it in IG Instagram and other parts of the social media so I just decided to do it in this farm as well so literally this is going to be look nice um, in this area I have butterhead lettuce and lolo bionda lettuce and uh, make it somewhat most exciting here in our place so so i just decided to put up like this way so try to look at this one guys that's all guys thanks for watching i hope you learned a lot from this episode again organic is safe as long as they have been certified with the bureau of agriculture and also hydroponics is safe 
the downside is there is no bureau who have been certified as as safe as organic i hope you learned a lot from this episode and see you guys next episode and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you will be notified every time we have new videos here at JNG Backyard Levels. Bye guys.